is Matt from Investquant. Today is Tuesday, August 10, 2021. Yesterday was another quiet day in the market. We ended up gapping down just a little bit, sold off, and then rallied back to about where we opened. And we finished the day there with a fairly quiet range on very light volume. So we didn't really see a lot of action throughout the day. We didn't see much range expansion. Um, it was just a quiet session that kind of drifted sideways for the second session in a row. And the daily candlestick formed a doji. And that's a candlestick where you open and close at about the same spot. So that's something we can test here and discover. And that's something that we will be looking at this morning. So let me go ahead and set this up in Discover. I'm going to grab all four instruments setups based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, we are trading within the prior session range. And I'm going to add that to the test here by going to the opening filters in the opening area. I'm going to hit open in prior day range. We're trading right around yesterday's closing price. So I have no idea if we're going to end up with an up gap or a down gap or no gap whatsoever. But I'm going to go with open in prior day range because that seems likely at this point. Then I'm going to go into the price patterns library and in the candlesticks category, I'm going to hit equals next to day after doji. We did have a doji candlestick yesterday. You can also grab that from the active today section. And then lastly, I'm going to go to the indicators and put us in a bull market environment above a 10, above a 200 day simple moving average. And now I can click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time when you open within the prior day range and the prior day was a doji candlestick in a bull market environment. Historically, we've got 209 samples to look at in the S&P dating back to 2003. There's 234 in the NASDAQ, 225 in the Dow, and 211 in the Russell. And if we look at this data, it is very mixed. S&P coming in at 51% of these have closed above the open, the NASDAQ 53, the Dow 53, and the Russell 54. None of those win rates are impressive on the upside or on the downside, just very neutral there. And if we look at average win and average loss, almost identical in size there for the S&P. The NASDAQ's got a pretty similar sized average win and average loss. For the Dow and for the Russell, the average loss is a little bit larger than the average win. But this pattern has been very mixed historically, and there's no real edge that is standing out in this data. So um, Doji is also known as is usually known as a day of indecision, and then it looks like it's being followed up by um, very mixed results, perhaps more indecision still taking place the following day. So hopefully you found this helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.